Valentine Street in Florida. Hey guys and girls, it's Tony Toyota RC coming at you with another tutorial. The World War II F4U Corsair made by Phoenix Model. I figured we would start and laid everything out on the table so you can see what actually goes into the airplane. Um, this is going to be my first gasser, so hope you'll take the ride with me. Um, as we go, I'm going to do small little tutorials to show you the modifications, where the modifications of the wings. The fuselage is going to a friend of mine tomorrow to be modified to make it a little stronger in the front for the gas engine and make sure it weighs right. So starting off, the size of the fuselage. This is a good size, very portable. You start getting bigger than this. I do have a trailer, but if I just wanted to take this, I could throw it in the back of the car and away I go. Um, elevator. As you can see, but what we're going to do, we're going to modify with Robart 8th inch pin hinges. Um, these do have flat CA hinges, which are absolutely horrible. You will lose an airplane at some point with those hinges. These hinges, not so much. And size of the wings. The wingspan on this airplane is 71 inches long. Um, we're going to do the same livery I had before. This one over here. Got Yosemite Sam on the front, Sky Boss. So hopefully you'll see it when it's done. Here's the other wing. And as I said, we're gonna modify them here. These have a real bad habit of the wing actually folds up after probably about 300 flights. High G loads. Uh, they generally don't put enough glue. We're gonna use some triangular pieces and make this a lot stronger. Nice cow in the front. And this will be all checkered. The other one, as I said, had an untimely event of a crash. Okay, we have our radial engine, fake radial engine. We will cut this out to give it good airflow through the body. Fuel tank, wheels. I'm fortunate that the wheels in the other wings and the retracts are good, so we're gonna save these for spare parts. We do have engine mounts. This would be if you're going to run an electric setup. I did have that. Gear doors, another gas nitro engine, control rods. This is the mounting for the cow, radiators in the wings. This is a CG machine. Why would that jump? Um, tail wheel, antenna, and little covers over the controls so you can't see them. Over here, we have all our control rods that could the throttle. We're gonna use our wing spars, and like I said, see, they're kind of short. These planes here, if you look at any of these, the rod is, comes out to about here on the wings, where this one, it only comes out, you know, six inches. That's really not enough unless we beef the wings up. Um, servos, we use all high tech, high voltage. Better 645s, never let you down. We got our fuel dot for refueling the airplane, ignition and receiver switch. World War II propeller, it does have yellow ends. You will see it after I unwrap it. Our engine, we're using a Stinger 30cc twin, makes 3.7 horsepower. It will turn a 18 to a 21 pitch propeller. I was gonna put a three blade on it, but three blade, they actually don't run as good. They run slower, um, sluggish, got a lot of torque. It'll want to pull into the left, so we're just gonna stick with the two blades. Our inline fuel filter. Um, here's the little tiny spark plugs, exhaust, standoffs, so we can get this engine spaced right so it looks correct. See the ignition box. I don't know where I'm gonna mount this yet, but. We're, as we go through the videos, we'll figure out where that's going to go. I may put it back near the fuel tank. I'm not sure yet. Um, manual, as well as your parts. It gives you everything you need as far as speed, you know, RPM rating. Tells you everything about it. Here's your, I'm sorry, I'm corrected, uh, 20. It won't go with 21. It'll go from 18 to 20. 
and your parts list for the engine in case you break something. Mufflers. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I may take these. Uh, there's another guy online that wrapped the exhaust really neat and it wound up back in here. And this way you don't have to cut the cow. I hate when people cut the cow. It doesn't look right. Um, oil. Two-stroke oil. Best on the market. AMS oil. Highly recommend. This thing will not foul plugs. Run clean. No issues at all there. You can look inside the broken airplane. As you can see, our retract box is good. It just knocked the front completely off. Um, we're going to reuse. These servers are still good. Uh, the wings are up there. So we're going to transfer all this stuff when we get the fuselage back and go along with the build. So that being said, you also get stickers. Get stickers here, but we're not going to use them. We're going to use, I do have a set, Cali Graphics, thank you. Um, she does all my sticker work. She did the Red Hornet, as you guys saw in the other past video. She makes great stickers. Um, unfortunately, that's out of Super Hornet, so you do have to cut them a little bit, but it worked out fine. So that being said, this is Tony, Tony Toyota, RC, signing off. And hope you'll stay with me through the build. See you next time. Hey, guys, listen, uh, Tony back with you again. I forgot to tell you, tomorrow we're probably going to put up some flight videos uh, when I get done flying. Uh, I do fly at the Ocala Flying Model Club on 110th Street in Florida. So if you guys want to become members, please stop by. Uh, we can get you all set up. It's up to you. Um, the airplanes we're going to be flying tomorrow are the Frontier Airline, the F-22 Raptor, that's my practice one for the turbine, which will be coming up shortly. And the Blue Angels number four. Um, I will walk around the field, show you the facility. So hopefully someday you'll stop by. This is Toyota Tony RC signing off. Have a great night.